In the world of entertainment, Bob Newhart stands as a true legend. With a career spanning over six decades, he has made an indelible mark in the industry through his unique comedic style and exceptional acting skills. Born in Oak Park, Illinois in 1929, Newhart first gained national attention in the early 1960s with his hit comedy album, The Button-Down Mind of Bob Newhart, which won several awards, including the Grammy for Album of the Year. Newhart's success in stand-up comedy led to a successful career in television, where he created and starred in two beloved sitcoms, The Bob Newhart Show and Newhart. Both shows received critical acclaim and a devoted following, earning Newhart multiple Emmy nominations and awards. His portrayal of Dr. Robert Hartley, a psychologist, and later, Vermont innkeeper Dick Loudon, resonated with audiences and cemented his place as a beloved figure in American pop culture. Throughout his career, Newhart has also made numerous appearances in films, including Catch-22, Elf, and Horrible Bosses. He has lent his voice to animated shows such as The Simpsons and The Loud House, and even released another successful comedy album, Button Down Concert, in 1962. Bob Newhart's contributions to the entertainment industry are immeasurable. His unique humor, charm, and talent have brought joy to millions of people worldwide. At 93 years old, he continues to inspire and entertain, leaving a legacy that will endure for generations to come. Bob Newhart is a well-known actor, famous for his comedic roles in television shows and movies. You might recognize him from his self-titled TV shows, The Bob Newhart Show and Newhart. Perhaps the first work of his you watched was one of his stand-up comedy routines or his appearances in films like Catch-22 and Elf. Do you remember a particular moment from one of Bob Newhart's works that made you laugh out loud or reflect on something deeper? Maybe it was a hilarious episode of The Bob Newhart Show or a witty one-liner from Newhart. We'd love to hear about it in the comments below. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this classic star? Maybe you had the opportunity to meet him at a convention or were inspired by his career path to pursue comedy or acting yourself. We'd love to hear your stories and memories. And stay tuned because there are many funny, shocking, and even sad facts coming up about Bob Newhart that you won't want to miss. Bob Newhart, born George Robert Newhart in 1929, grew up in a close-knit Irish Catholic family in Oak Park, Illinois. His father, George, was a successful businessman, and his mother, Julia, was a homemaker. Newhart was the eldest of four children and has described his childhood as happy and stable. As a young boy, Newhart developed an interest in comedy and humor. He would often listen to comedy records and imitate the comedians he heard. He also enjoyed performing skits and plays for his family and friends. Newhart attended Loyola University of Chicago, where he studied business and accounting. After graduating, he worked as an accountant for the United States Army. However, he soon realized that his true passion was comedy and decided to pursue a career in show business. One of Newhart's earliest and most significant influences was his high school drama teacher, Mr. Hackett. Under Hackett's guidance, Newhart developed his skills as a performer and gained confidence in his abilities. He often credited Hackett with inspiring him to pursue a career in entertainment. Another key influence on Newhart's career was his friendship with comedian Buddy Hackett. The two met in the early 1960s and quickly became close friends. Hackett encouraged Newhart to develop his own unique comedic style and helped him to hone his skills as a stand-up comedian. Newhart's big break came in 1960 when he started working at a Chicago ad agency as a copywriter. He began to record his comedy routines and send them to radio stations around the country. The routines, which featured Newhart's signature deadpan delivery and clever wordplay, quickly gained popularity. In 1961, Newhart released his first comedy album, The Button-Down Mind of Bob Newhart. The album was a huge success, selling more than a million copies and earning Newhart his first Grammy Award. From there, Newhart's career continued to soar. He became a fixture on television and in film, appearing in numerous movies and TV shows, including The Bob Newhart Show, Newhart, and the Librarian Film Series. Throughout his long and successful career, Newhart has remained humble and grounded, often crediting his family, friends, and mentors for his success. He has said that he is grateful for the opportunities he has had and is proud of the work he has done. Bob Newhart is a renowned actor and comedian who significantly influenced the film industry during his era 
and beyond. He began his career in the 1960s, releasing a series of hit comedy records that showcased his unique style of humor. Newhart's deadpan delivery and clever wordplay quickly gained popularity, leading to his transition to television. In 1972, Newhart starred in his first sitcom, The Bob Newhart Show, which aired for six seasons and earned him several Emmy nominations. The show was groundbreaking in its portrayal of a mental health professional, and it helped to break down stigmas surrounding therapy. Newhart's character, Dr. Robert Hartley, became a cultural icon and a symbol of the everyday struggles and triumphs of the American middle class. After the Bob Newhart show ended, Newhart continued to act in films and television shows, including the hit sitcom Newhart, which aired from 1982 to 1990. In this show, Newhart played a Vermont innkeeper, and the series became known for its surreal humor and unexpected plot twists. Throughout his career, Newhart has been known for his understated comedic style and his ability to create memorable characters that resonate with audiences. He has been a trailblazer in the world of television comedy and has inspired countless other comedians and actors. Newhart's contributions to Hollywood extend beyond his work as an actor and comedian. He has been a tireless advocate for mental health awareness and has used his platform to raise awareness about the importance of therapy and self-care. In conclusion, Bob Newhart is a true legend in the world of entertainment. His unique comedic style and memorable characters have left an indelible mark on the film industry, and his contributions to television comedy will be remembered for generations to come. Bob Newhart's interest in comedy and acting began at a young age, but it was during his time in the Army that he discovered his passion for performing. While working as an accountant in the Army Corps of Engineers, Newhart began entertaining his colleagues with his unique brand of humor, telling stories and jokes over the phone. After leaving the Army, Newhart worked as an advertising copywriter, but he continued to perform stand-up comedy in his spare time. In 1959, he sent a tape of his comedy routine to a radio station in Chicago, and the station began playing his bits on the air. Newhart's dry wit and deadpan delivery quickly gained popularity, and he soon landed a record deal. His first comedy album, The Button-Down Mind of Bob Newhart, was a massive hit, selling over a million copies and earning Newhart his first Grammy Award. Despite his success in comedy, Newhart was hesitant to pursue a career in acting. However, in 1961, he was offered a role in the television series The Bob Newhart Show, which ran for six seasons and solidified Newhart's status as a beloved comedic actor. Throughout his career, Newhart has continued to pursue his passion for performing, appearing in numerous television shows, movies, and stage productions. His unique comedic style and enduring talent have made him a beloved figure in the entertainment industry. Bob Newhart is best known for his role as Dr. Robert Bob Hartley in the sitcom The Bob Newhart Show. The characters Bob Hartley and Carol Kester Bondurant made a guest appearance on the show Murphy Brown in 1994, where Carol became Murphy's secretary. Unlike Murphy's other secretaries, Carol proved to be efficient, but Bob showed up at the end of the episode to persuade her to return to his show. In addition to his work in television, Newhart also appeared in the film Hell is for Heroes as PVT, James Driscoll. Due to the film's escalating budget, Paramount Studios refused to provide more film stock, and the production ran out before filming the scripted finale. The abrupt ending, however, helped the film gain a cult following. Interestingly, Newhart has a sister named Sister M. Joan Newhart, who is a nun. Despite his success in the entertainment industry, Newhart has maintained a low profile and has not let fame get to his head. Bob Newhart, a legendary actor and comedian, faced many challenges in his early career. Despite having a successful comedy album in the 1960s, he struggled to make it in television. Network executives were skeptical of his low-key, observational humor, and feared it wouldn't translate to the small screen. Newhart's resilience and determination, however, helped him persevere. He refused to compromise his unique comedic style and kept pushing for his chance to shine on television. After several failed pilots, he finally found success with the Bob Newhart show in the 1970s. But even after achieving success, Newhart faced financial struggles. Despite earning a good salary from his show, he made some poor investments and found himself in debt. He had to continue working to pay off his debts, even when he wanted to retire. Newhart's solution was to take on a variety of projects, including voiceover work, 
guest appearances on other shows, and even a second successful sitcom, Newhart, in the 1980s. He also started touring again as a stand-up comedian. These creative solutions not only helped him pay off his debts, but also allowed him to continue doing what he loved. Throughout his career, Bob Newhart faced numerous obstacles, from industry skepticism to financial struggles. But his resilience and determination helped him overcome these hurdles and leave a lasting impact on the world of comedy. Bob Newhart, known as Dick Loudon in the sitcom Newhart, leaked a false ending for the series to divert the tabloid press from the real surprise ending. In this version, Dick Loudon, after being hit on the head by a golf ball, would wake up in heaven meeting God, portrayed by either George Burns or George C. Scott. Before his acting career, Newhart was stationed at Camp Roberts in San Luis Obispo, California, in 1952. His family surname was originally Newhart, with his father being of half German and half Irish descent, and his mother being of Irish ancestry. His paternal grandmother was born in Canada to Irish immigrants. Bob Newhart's career had several breakthrough moments that showcased his unique comedic talent. In the early 1960s, his comedy album, The Button-Down Mind of Bob Newhart, became a massive hit, reaching number one on the Billboard charts and earning him his first Grammy Award. This recognition established him as a prominent figure in comedy. Later, in 1972, Newhart starred in his own television show, The Bob Newhart Show, which aired for six seasons. The series received critical acclaim and was praised for its innovative storytelling and Newhart's relatable portrayal of a psychologist. According to TV Guide, The Bob Newhart Show was a game changer that paved the way for more realistic sitcoms. In 1982, Newhart began another successful TV series, Newhart, which ran for eight seasons. The show received high ratings and critical acclaim, with the New York Times calling it one of the best written and acted sitcoms of the 1980s. The show's finale, in which Newhart's character wakes up to find that the entire series was a dream, became one of the most memorable TV endings of all time. Throughout his career, Newhart has been known for his deadpan humor and relatable characters, which have earned him numerous awards and nominations, including four Emmy Awards. Comedy Central rank him 14th on their list of the 100 greatest stand-up comedians of all time. According to comedian and actor Tom Hanks, Bob Newhart has always been the gold standard for comedians. His timing, his delivery, and his ability to make the ordinary extraordinary is unmatched. Critic David Biancoli adds, Newhart has a rare gift for making us laugh, think, and feel all at once. His impact on comedy and television is immeasurable. Bob Newhart's acting style has evolved over the years, demonstrating his ability to adapt to changing trends in the film industry. In the early years of his career, Newhart was known for his deadpan delivery and subtle comedic style, which was showcased in his hit television show, The Bob Newhart Show, that aired from 1972 to 1978. As the film industry changed, Newhart's style evolved as well. He began to incorporate more physical comedy into his performances, as seen in his role in In and Out. In this film, Newhart played a closeted teacher, using his comedic timing and physicality to create a memorable and humorous performance. Newhart also demonstrated his versatility by taking on more dramatic roles. In the miniseries The Trial of the Chicago Seven, he played a judge with a stern and authoritative demeanor, showcasing his ability to convincingly portray a character very different from his comedic persona. Throughout his career, Newhart has remained relevant by adapting to changing trends in the film industry. His ability to evolve his acting style while maintaining his unique comedic voice has earned him a lasting place in the annals of Hollywood history. Bob Newhart is known for his unique style of comedy that combines subtle delivery with clever wordplay. He often uses a deadpan expression and matter-of-fact tone to deliver his jokes, which often involve relatable everyday situations. Newhart's approach to comedy is often described as conversational, as if he is simply sharing a funny story with a friend. Newhart's personal experiences and worldview often inform his work. For example, his upbringing in a Catholic family in Chicago has influenced his comedy, and he often incorporates elements of his Irish heritage into his act. His comedy often explores themes of family, relationships, and the absurdities of everyday life. One of the unique aspects of Newhart's style is his ability to create humor through the use of misdirection. He often sets up a joke with a seemingly serious or mundane premise, only to twist it into something unexpected and humorous. 
This approach requires a great deal of skill and timing, and Newhart is a master of both. Newhart's work has had a significant impact on the world of comedy, and he is widely regarded as one of the all-time greats. Despite his many accolades and accomplishments, however, Newhart remains humble and grounded. He continues to tour and perform, bringing his unique brand of humor to audiences around the world. Bob Newhart is known for his successful comedy career and his role in the show Murphy Brown. In Murphy Brown, the character had a total of 93 secretaries over 10 seasons, with Marsha Wallace playing one of the more efficient ones. There was even a support group for the secretaries who couldn't keep the job. Newhart's comedy album The Button-Down Mind of Bob Newhart was a hit in 1960, reaching number one on the charts and winning three Grammy Awards, including Album of the Year. Interestingly, Newhart lived with his parents until his 20s, which is not common for successful comedians and actors. This just goes to show that success can come in many forms and at different stages in life. Bob Newhart is a highly influential figure in the world of comedy and acting. He is best known for his deadpan humor and distinctive storytelling style. Newhart's impact can be seen in the way many comedians today deliver their jokes, with a straight face and subtle delivery. One of Newhart's most significant contributions to the industry is his groundbreaking comedy album, The Button-Down Mind of Bob Newhart, which won several awards and spent an unprecedented 14 weeks at number one on the Billboard charts. This album helped to establish the stand-up comedy album as a popular and profitable form of entertainment. Newhart's influence can also be seen in the way he approached storytelling in his television shows. His self-titled sitcom, The Bob Newhart Show, was one of the first shows to depict a professional in a realistic and relatable way. Newhart played a psychologist, and the show explored the everyday challenges and triumphs of his character's personal and professional life. Industry experts and those inspired by Newhart have praised his contributions to the field. Comedian and actor Jim Carrey has cited Newhart as an inspiration, stating, Bob Newhart is a comic genius. His timing, his delivery, his ability to make the ordinary extraordinary, it's all just amazing. In addition, Newhart's influence can be seen in the way many modern comedians approach their craft. Many comedians today cite Newhart as an influence, and his distinctive style can be seen in their performances. In conclusion, Bob Newhart's impact and influence on the comedy and acting industry are significant and enduring. His contributions to the field, including his groundbreaking comedy album, and influential television shows have helped to shape the way comedians approach their craft and tell their stories. Newhart's legacy continues to inspire and influence comedians and actors today. Bob Newhart is best known for his role as Dr. Robert Bob Harley in the sitcom The Bob Newhart Show. Susan Plachet, who played his on-screen wife Emily, was cast after she happened to be seated next to Newhart on The Tonight Show starring Johnny Carson. The producers believed they had good chemistry and asked her to read for the show. Newhart also appeared on The Dean Martin Show 24 times. In addition to his work in television, Newhart had a role in the war film Hell is for Heroes, where he played PVT, James Driscoll. Initially, director Don Siegel did not want to include a scene in which Newhart's character has a fake telephone conversation with headquarters to fool the Germans. However, the studio insisted on including the scene to capitalize on Newhart's popularity as a stand-up comic as his act often featured one-sided phone conversations. Newhart even wrote his own lines for this scene. Bob Newhart, the beloved actor and comedian, values his privacy and keeps his life outside of the spotlight relatively low-key. However, he has been open about his passion for golf, often mentioning it in interviews and even incorporating it into his comedy routines. Newhart has said that he finds the sport relaxing and a good way to clear his mind. In addition to his love for golf, Newhart is also known for his philanthropic efforts. He has been a longtime supporter of the Catholic Education Foundation, which provides tuition assistance to students attending Catholic schools in the Diocese of Los Angeles. Newhart has also been involved with various charities and causes throughout his career, including the American Red Cross, St. Jude Children's Research Hospital, and the Muscular Dystrophy Association. Newhart's personal values and interests have undoubtedly informed his work as an actor and comedian. His clean and relatable humor has made him a favorite among audiences of all ages, and his ability to find humor in everyday situations is a testament to his observational skills 
and appreciation for the simple things in life. Throughout his career, Newhart has remained humble and grounded, crediting his success to hard work and a bit of luck. He has said that he feels fortunate to have had the opportunity to make people laugh for a living and is grateful for the support of his fans. In conclusion, while Bob Newhart values his privacy and keeps his personal life separate from his professional one, he is known for his love of golf and his philanthropic efforts. His personal values and interests have informed his work as an actor and comedian, and he remains a beloved figure in the entertainment industry. Bob Newhart is best known for his starring roles in The Bob Newhart Show and Newhart, but many might not know that his acting career began with a late addition to The Script of Hell is for Heroes. Paramount's head of production, Martin Rankin, met Newhart at a nightclub and requested Robert Pirosh to write a part specifically for him as PBT. James Driscoll, Newhart was a heavy smoker for years until doctors ordered him to quit in 1985. Despite this, he continued to entertain audiences with his unique comedic style and memorable characters. His work on The Bob Newhart Show and Newhart earned him widespread recognition and acclaim. As Dr. Robert Bob Hartley and Dick Loudon, Newhart showcased his ability to deliver witty and humorous performances, making him a beloved figure in American television. Bob Newhart, a legendary actor and comedian, has left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry. With a career spanning over six decades, he has brought laughter and joy to countless people through his unique comedic style and memorable characters. Newhart's ability to create humor through simple and relatable situations has made him a beloved figure in the industry. As for the future, Newhart has always been open to new opportunities and challenges. He has expressed interest in continuing to act and make people laugh, whether it's through television, film, or live performances. His advice to aspiring professionals in the field is to stay true to themselves and their craft. He believes that success comes from hard work, dedication, and the willingness to take risks. Newhart emphasizes the importance of finding one's own voice and style, rather than trying to imitate others. He encourages aspiring actors and comedians to draw inspiration from their own experiences and observations and to use their talents to tell unique and compelling stories. Furthermore, Newhart advises young professionals to be patient and persistent. Success in the entertainment industry often takes time and there will be many obstacles and setbacks along the way. However, with determination and a positive attitude, it is possible to achieve one's goals and make a meaningful contribution to the industry. In conclusion, Bob Newhart's legacy in the entertainment industry is one of humor, creativity, and inspiration. His advice to aspiring professionals is to stay true to themselves, work hard, and never give up on their dreams. By following these principles, young actors and comedians can honor Newhart's legacy and make their own mark on the industry. Let's take a moment to talk about the talented Bob Newhart. He's been making people laugh for decades with his unique comedic style. His work in television and stand-up comedy has left a lasting impression on many. What do you think about Bob Newhart's contributions to the entertainment industry? Did you have a favorite role or performance of his? Share your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed this reflection on Bob Newhart's career, please give it a like and consider sharing it with your friends who also appreciate his work. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more content celebrating the creative minds that shape entertainment. Your engagement helps us continue to create meaningful content that resonates with our audience. Let's keep the conversation going about the artists who have made a mark in the world of entertainment.